all right what's good people we have a new patch coming in december 16th which will be 10 a.m c-e-t and 1 a.m p-t e-s-t but i already read over this and so i'm going through it again on video but here we are we got more statistics on the current current win rates so we prefer the balance of the victory rate between survivors and raiders is largely consistent with our intended design based on the recent data outlined above so right off the bat i'm gonna go ahead and say it seems like their intended their intended design is for the raider to have a higher win rate which is understandable because you know that's kind of the premise of the game i think a lot of people forget that this is an asymmetric horror game and not just you know not like a budokai game or something where you know win rates should be more balanced between characters or something like that you know what i mean like obviously they intend for the raider to be strong they intend for the raider to come out ahead now obviously that's understandable to a degree right if it's like a slight lead in victory percentage that's fine but if they're you know drastically leading then that's kind of problematic in the long run but here we are where we have with the overall results the orange here is total victory all survivors wiped out killed yellow is raider victory survivors escaping because remember escaping is still a victory for them but also a victory for it's a double-sided victory like so it's not essentially a tie but it's like you both you both collect a dub and then purple is um survivor victory so you know we, we've had the past two patches you know that one where raiders got drastically pumped but then the one after that brought down a little with key block with the key blast changes there which a lot better now that the key blasts are not as oppressive as they were in the patch before 42.3 percent on a total wipeout 19.2 percent on an escape and 38.5 percent on a victory yes folks victories still are possible <laughs> and then over here it's the survivor side of things you know survivor total victory greater defeated slash remaining survivors only 19.8 percent uh, twelve point nine percent on a survivor victory successfully started the super time machine, and then purple uh, is an escape. So, time machine STM victories seem to have dropped a lot with the STM changes. With the current state of STM, I've noticed uh, I, I, I still get some STM victories. It's not impossible. It's definitely definitely takes a lot longer now, but at the same time. And it could, it could probably use a little, a little buff, nothing crazy. I definitely like it being slower on the Raider side of things because it's, you didn't really have a lot of time to continue to hunt with how fast the STM used to go if you got key rushed. But also now like default 15% is kind of a little slow. I don't know, maybe like midget up a bit to 20. I don't, I don't, I don't. Escapes weren't happening a lot. And... I'd say that's primarily because how easy it is to stop in it. With that said, is once you get them down to like three people and the and the ETM starts start spawning, you could just you could just blow up the zone. <laughs> like that, that was the strat really. Like you just you just save a destruction for the ETM zone and then then uh but there's still a lot of still a lot of you know killing the raider, so it's not impossible, still not impossible, which good. But you know, a lot of people act like it's impossible to beat the raider now. It's like it's not harder, yes, but it's not impossible. But people, you know, people are gonna get the pitchforks out for me saying that. But <laughs> all right, now onto the big major change. Um, this is help for the survivor. Adjustment to the ETM, the escape time machine, slightly increase the rate at which the gauge is called the escape time machine fills up. Basically, what that means is when you're going to you know, you're doing your channel in the bar to call it in. It's going to go faster now. I already seen a lot of people saying, you know, SOS or whatever the passive is, a passive, I guess it makes that faster. It's going to be cracked with that now. <laughs> but then, you know, that's going in, assuming you're going to need to, you get into the escape phase. 
which honestly with uh, some some people I've get paired with sometimes <laughs> that that passive might be looking good to me cuz uh, sometimes you get people that just kind of you know open up the soup kitchen and yeah, increase the number of escape time machine beacons that appear during the search phase when the number of remaining stars decreases that's good that's real good that is that is the that is going to help against that strategy of just blowing up the one escape pod so i'm i'm assuming I'm assuming it means initially it's going to spawn two. Normal, initially it spawns one when there's only three people left. So escapes will be happening a lot more. It's looking like, which still still victory for you. I mean, it's not the most fun victory, but it's still a victory. Really good change on that end. And now we move on to uh, raider win rates. Of the three raiders, sales victory rate is still slightly lower. In order to prove this, we implement the following adjustments. I'll talk about that in a minute. Looking at these uh, win rates here, 39.2% total victory on a cell, and then 19.7% on escape. Frieza, 42.6%. Thought that would be way higher, but 20 and then 22% on a escape. Boo, 48.6% on a total victory and 15.8% on escape. This was crazy to me. Right, I did not expect Boo to still be this high percentage. That that spoke like because I've definitely I've definitely beaten a lot of booze. I don't know if other people are just struggling or like and not to not to like not to like shit talk and be like what you can't beat boo <laughs> like no no because that Spopovich nerf back back a while back definitely definitely hit boo right like and then innocent phase is you know not the best but really I feel like most of that is you know, super boo and kid boo obviously which are still absurd. But I think the most absurd character is Frieza. And it's baffling to me that Frieza has not been nerfed. Frieza on implementation on the first beta with Frieza got a buff. And then from then on out, Musalem. The only nerf Frieza would have got was this recent Key Blast nerf that affected all raiders. And even then, it didn't really fucking matter. <laughs> Frieza is still Frieza, right? Like, but I feel like that lower win rates there is because more people are switching over to Frieza now, expecting the easy W, but then getting smacked, right? Because, because I've played against incredibly oppressive Frieza's, and I played against Frieza's who are like, oh yeah, like like they they didn't have the same momentum, you know. <laughs> now, what I was gonna say was sell though, sell. I think Cell is in a fine spot. Yeah, before I get to this buff, I don't think it's like fully needed. I think the thing with Cell is not a lot of people want to play Cell, right? Like I think I think it's again everyone's more attracted to the Frieza option or the Boo option because you know obviously I mean obviously they're stronger, but it didn't mean Cell was weak by any means necessary, right? Like Cell, Cell was your consistency pick. Like I switched to maining Cell. Because I'm rusty as hell because I've not been playing as much as I used to. But also, it's definitely a lot more. You, know, you get the key tracking early on. You got the auto evolve so you don't, you know, you don't lose in first stage. You automatically, you, you guarantee your second stage. You guarantee his own destruction. He's got a pretty fast, you know, absorb. And a pretty good kit. Like, Cell is a good all around. Cell, Cell is Ryu. Like, 100 Cell is Ryu. Cell is Mario. Cell is the, the gold standard. Meanwhile, Frieza and Boo are like coked up DLC characters, you know what I mean? As in comparison to like other fighting games, not not that they're like, you know, actual DLC, you know what I mean? But we're moving on to Cell Buff. So, decrease the amount of evolution gauge required to get from three to four. So we're gonna see a lot more perfect cells. And then we see an increased amount of energy gained through life absorption. They really, really want Cell to be that fast evolving character. And that's cool. That's that's perfectly fine. I'm fine with you know the Raiders having specialties to them, right? Like we'll see how crazy this Cell buff is. Again, I don't think it was that people were bad with Cell. I think it was just I think it was just not a lot of people played not a lot of people wanted to play Cell compared to the other. And Cell was also the one beginners were attracted to because it's the first one it puts you on. 
and it's the first one you see in the tutorial and, it's, and again it is a good beginner character so we'll see how this works out uh you know survivor so all in all nice little survivor buff in the long run i think survivors are in an okay spot i know people are gonna you know mad at me. The, the thing i want most from survivor which i think would be really nice for you know match longevity long longevity but you know, yeah you got me for, for making matches you know not as quick if you know people are bad i i've been thinking about this all day i kind of wish we get another barrier so basically an extra health point i think if we had two barrier so basically you know we could take three hits i think that would be a nice change uh obviously you know it will give us more time to survive and then matches will be a bit longer but that's the only thing I can really think of that Survivor really needs. Other than that, Survivor is a very like skill skill ceiling like role, right? Like obviously, like good survivors are good survivors, right? And a bad survivor is a bad survivor. But it's definitely something you can improve at. Raider, the Raider. Again, I thought Cell was in a pretty decent spot. I, like honestly, I kind of like the current patch. We'll see what this new patch is gonna do. I think Super Boo and Kid Boo could could use some toning down. Especially, it was right at forty-eight point six percent win rate on them. They, I don't know why they didn't like do some nerfs here. Frieza definitely needs a nerf. Like I'll, I'll preach this till my fucking death bed until it happens. I don't know which dev over there is a Frieza fanboy, but Fr Frieza has got to get toned down or something, dog. Like <laughs> Frieza's a bit absurd. Like being able to just easily rotate Zarbon to Doria and then the oppressiveness of his key blast. Like he needs, he needs some tone. And then the fact that like you know. Beating his ass just helps him. But you know, that's the design they're going for. We can obviously, you know, if you don't like it, you know, we could, there's no real point in sitting and crying about it, you know. It's, and in the end of the day, it is what it is. So I'm 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 interested in seeing this escape time machine patch though. I'm interested in seeing that. Uh I like I said, I'm a cell player now, so I welcome <laughs> cell buffs, but we'll see how this goes. Uh I do again, I do appreciate their constant updating of this game i do appreciate like even if there's stuff we don't agree with we can all agree that this game updates way more than any other game of this type if any other game like this they maybe get an update once a month and once every two months or so like, if there's a bad patch you can easily take a break come back like like that one patch where raiders are cracked i took a week break i played pokemon i played wow came back you know when they nerfed the key blast a little bit i was like okay this is this is bearable now. You know, chat it up in the comments. Tell me what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Keep it civil. And uh, what you want to see in the future for, like, patches. Again, I, I like to see an extra barrier. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see y'all in the next one.